Hey guys, welcome back to my spot. This is my swag for the day. Hey guys, what's going on? We back, we back. Guess what I got to eat? Tonight, I'm yeah. What I got for my choice to eat tonight is a spot called Coney's Grill. And I got um, one of their little, uh, I guess, famous Coney Dogs. Coney Dogs is from Detroit. Uh, it's called Detroit's Coney Dog, I believe. And I got some fries, of course. And oh, before I forget, let me let me you feel me. Let me let me take the jacket off so I can get a little bit more comfortable. You did take this uh Yeah, do what you guys gotta do also to get comfortable to come chill with me or whatnot. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. But um. What we'll be talking about tonight would be how it was for me to come out. And for the viewers that's watching it that possibly may not know what that means is me coming out to my family. Um, I guess you could say and myself too about my sexuality, which is I'm a lesbian. But um I don't know my I feel like my coming out is not the typical coming out and what I mean by that is that there was really nobody I had to come out to because my mom I never got a chance to come out to her because she had already passed before I could even really just understand that women was where I, what I really really was interested in um but I was able to come out to like my father uh, my dad I was able to talk to him and go to him. Like I went to him personally um, because I didn't want somebody else to go to him. And I also didn't want him to hear that from nobody else. I feel like I should have been the one to, you know, to go to him. Um, but I'll talk about them first and then I'll get to uh, about like how, I guess my family as a, as a whole, how they reacted to it or whatever. Um, these questions, Oh, excuse me. Uh, the questions was from Karen. Hi, Karen. And thanks for the questions, by the way. Great questions. Um, feel free to continue to ask anything you want to know. I'm pretty open for the most part. And I'm willing to answer whatever questions that any of you guys may have. So thanks, Karen. Um, but yeah, like my mom didn't get a chance to come out to her because she had already passed on. So I didn't get a chance to come out to her. Although I wished I had, I regret that to this day. That's something that um, bothers me. And only because I know she had a feeling that I was going to be a lesbian. Because, I mean, my whole childhood, I was so rough. I don't want to say boyish. Because I feel like that's just something that they put on girls when, you know what I'm saying, that when we just not in the house, you know, up under our parents or doing makeup, whatever. Um, but I knew my mom knew. I, I'm pretty confident that she knew already. That's such a, for me to be so young. Um, uh, but however, I'm not sure if my dad ever really knew, but, um, I was in college. I was in college and I, I had, um, I did have a girlfriend at the time that he didn't know about. And what I did was I had went to visit, um, my ex-girlfriend at the time, well, I had to go, I had to come to Arizona to visit um, my ex-wife, girlfriend at the time. That's where I was coming to. I came here to Arizona to meet her, I mean, to spend time with her, the summer with her. And um, um, what made me decide to tell him, because I really wasn't ready to tell him, but then I just, I felt like I needed to because when I had first moved out here, I think I was out here for maybe a couple of weeks. And it was like, I don't know what the, the temperature was, but I know it was over 105 degrees. 
and I had to be taken to the hospital because <laughs> just out of nowhere, I had a temperature of 104 degrees. I almost died. That's what the doctor said. So I felt like, like, damn, like you literally can like be gone at any moment. So I, like, I thought I got out of the hospital and stuff and I got the, the, uh, the medication and stuff in my system and I started coming back too. That's just what came to mind. I needed to tell my dad. So I had called him on the phone and I told him that, you know, I was going to come, when I come down, I come to see him, you know, we were just going to, we going to talk, we were going to chop it up. So, you know, I get there about, I don't know, maybe like a month and a half later or something. And I told him, I just told him, I was like, dad, um, I don't know if you're aware or not, but I'm a lesbian. And he just looked at me and he was like, well, you know what? He laughed and he said, you have a 99% chance of sliding a hoe. And I took that as I got a better chance of defending myself than I would with a guy. And that just told me that he accepted it. But he did also say after that, he was like, I don't care what you like, whether they blue, yellow, red, green, whatever color you color spectrum. I still love you the same. You're still my daughter. I'm always going to love you no matter what. And I felt like. If nobody else accepted me, whether nobody else loved me, at least I knew my father did. My dad did. He was my daddy. I don't like saying that now. I think it's because he's, he's passed as well, so I don't like saying daddy no more, but he was my daddy. He's always been there. Um, so my dad was cool with it. Um, out of my dad's side of the family, I'll get to my mom's side, but out of my dad's side of the family, mm-hmm. Real tall guys, I forgot I had a chili dog in my hand. Um, that's cool. If you if you're a fan of chili dogs or hot dogs or anything, it's pretty good. Um, my dad, my dad's side of the family, I don't really know how they felt about it because I really wasn't around them like that. I like his siblings and stuff. I know one of my uncles didn't care. He passed um, some years back. He didn't have a problem with it. He knew. Um, most of my family on my dad's side didn't knew. And there's only really one person, well, maybe two people that gave me hell about it. And that was my dad's sister. And she's passed as well. Um, my aunt was, she was different. Like, I feel like her oldest son, I feel like, that's what he really he really wanted to be a gay man but because she didn't condone that she wasn't having that she didn't want i want no gay son she didn't want a gay child period but the funniest thing is that my aunt's kids i'm pretty sure all of them have dibbled and dabbled you know what i'm saying i'm not sure about one of them but two of them for sure i'm sure about you know but I know she didn't, she had a problem with it. Like, I, I know she had a major problem with it, you know. Um, I won't go into detail about that because that's their business. And I just don't, you know what I'm saying, this video is about me. So, therefore, I don't want to go into detail about somebody else's life, you know. I just don't because I just, I don't fool them anyway. So, it's not really necessary. But the son that I'm talking about as far as my aunt, I know for a fact he wanted to be. And... He just wasn't able to really live his life, so he decided to get married, have you know, get his have his wife, have his kids, and he lived life like that. Now, I'm not saying that he don't love his wife, I'm not saying that, but I just feel like he wasn't able to really live his life the way he wanted to. And I feel like because he couldn't live the life that he really wanted to live, he felt a sense of jealousy and envy, envy towards me because my dad accepted me for how I really am, that I'm able to live my life the way that I want to live my life. Um... I mean, when I was younger, we used to be really cool, like, because I used to keep my little cousins, their kids, his kids all the time. But as I gotten older and I was able to live my life the way I wanted to live it, I feel like that's when the relationship, the relationship between us changed. And which, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I understand to a, to a certain extent, but that don't mean, you know, fall out with me or mistreat me because I'm able to live my life the way that I want to live it. You know what I'm saying? Because my, my, my dad allowed me to do that. Now, I'm sorry that, you know, um, that his mom didn't allow him to do that. You know, and to this day, if, you know what I'm saying, if we were able to reconcile our differences or whatever, I'd be cool with that because I was always cool with 
quite a few, you know what I'm saying, quite a few people on my dad's side. But I know a very limited, I know very limited family on my dad's side. Although I've always been around, uh, me and my siblings have always been around, but we don't know a lot of them. Um, but my aunt one day, she's the one that had the biggest problem because one day she tried to demean me. Like we was in my dad's kitchen one day, we was at his house and he was going to work. And she was just talking crazy to me, like talking out the side of her neck, you feel me? And I was like, yo, you tripping. Like, I don't know what your issue is. And I really don't care because prior to her finding out that I was a lesbian, she thought I was a hoe for the longest. You feel me? Because there was always guys coming to my dad's door to ask me, could I come outside and play? But she knew I played basketball, but I think she didn't understand the fact that they were coming so that we all can go together to go to the court that was up the street from my father's house to go play. We all would play on teams. You know what I'm saying? Every time I did come down there, whether it was the weekend, the summer, whatever, they would always show up. They knew when I touched down, they would come to my dad's house, knock on the door and ask for me. You feel me? And she felt like I was out sleeping with all of them when in actuality, I've never been with a guy. I haven't been interested in a guy. And that's just where I'm at with that now. I have always, I can honestly say I've always liked to chill with dudes because I felt like I could be myself 100% when I was around dudes. Because, and which I'm not going to lie, most of the dudes when you're around them, you always going to have one or two that's attracted to you because still they still see you as a female and not one of them. But because you play sports, they like that because... You're not a guy, you know what I'm saying? You're a woman and you can not only play ball, but you good at it, you feel me? And they got somebody else on their team that we busting, you know what I'm saying, busting ass. It don't get better than that, you feel me? So so until she, once she found, before she found out I was a lesbian, she thought I was a hoe. She thought I was a town hoe at that. Not thinking that maybe we all just cool like that. Maybe we all just friends. That ain't cross her mind. She thought I was sleeping with all of them, which made no sense to me, but whatever. But that whole, that, that, that label of a hoe went out the window when she found out I was a lesbian because she started talking down to me, started talking shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, saying, like, I was doing certain stuff that I wasn't doing, like, just, you know what I'm saying? Just just being hateful. To me, that I just feel like it was just being hateful because she didn't approve of the lifestyle. And then as she was demeaning me, my dad come walking through the door one day and he overheard her and he went bad on her for that he's like don't you ever in your life talk to my my daughter like that what she chooses to do with her life is none of your fucking business that's what he said fucking business and i love my dad for that i respect my dad for that because i still am at the end of the day i'm a human being regardless to who i lay in the bed with who i lay in the bed with don't make me any different from anybody else because technically if society didn't know about man and woman y'all wouldn't half of y'all wouldn't even know that that was even a, that that's what the world is supposed to be you know what i'm saying because most of y'all going off what the bible say and what this person said what that person said hell lesbian and gay has been going on long before any of us was thought of but because you didn't hear about it you didn't know about it and you weren't aware about it so therefore you couldn't pass judgment but a lot of y'all out there living y'all life and y'all not really really happy you feel me so you want to live like that? That's on you. But me, I'm going to live the way I want to live. And my father had my back in that. You feel me? So cool with it. Now, on my dad's side, I don't know if there was really any open gays or lesbians too much. Um, besides one of my, uh, my cousins, he was a male. He was very open, he was very flamboyant, and he 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 died when I was really young. I'm not really sure what his cause of death was. Um, I'm not gonna get into that either because that was personal. But um he's like as far as men wise, he was the most open. And women wise, I do have I know for a fact a cousin, a a female cousin that is very open. Now, I don't know how you know if our family knows she is to this day, but she's always been like that. You know, she's always been into women now my mom's side oh we got plenty of them that's open plenty of them even my oldest um generation their kids kids are, are openly lesbian and gay to this day so they're a little bit more you know they weren't really i really didn't have any of them that gave me a hard time about it 
They didn't give me a hard time about it. So, when I was with them, I could be myself. Because I'm not the only, like, as, you, as most people would label me as a stud. But I'm not the only one. But that cousin was a little bit more different. She always had different women coming in and out of the family. She, she, she sagged her pants. Like, she was really the true definition of what they would call... An aggressive stud, I guess, or maybe a bush. I, I don't know, but I didn't. I only brought one woman around. That was it. I haven't brought anybody else around, so I didn't sag my pants. I didn't go about basically flaunting my legs. I was saying, guys, I really wasn't fond of my lesbianism. I wasn't, like, having women coming in and out, which I shouldn't say that you should be judged either if you decide to, you know, do that, have different multiple women come and meet in the family and all that. That's, you know, that's your own personal choice. But besides my clothes, they wouldn't have never known, to be completely honest, because I didn't talk about hanging with women or guys. So they wouldn't have known. They would have just been questioning it the whole time. But mm, I don't think none of them care, to be honest, because it's not affecting their life, their livelihood, you know. So they ain't really ever really expressed that they had a problem with it. None of my mom's side did, only my dad's side. So I don't know, but. I don't know, I just felt like I've always connected more with women when it comes to, like, I don't know, just something innate within me I always have. Like, I only connected with guys when it came to, like, sports or if it's, like, like if they ask me, like, my opinion on what I think about women, like, I had my homeboys do that. You know, even to this day, I will hang with more guys than women because they're into, most of them are into, Excuse me, men are into the same thing I'm into, so of course they're going to look at women the same. I'm not saying that, you know, women can't look at women the same. I'm not saying that either, but it's just it's just different, you know what I'm saying? It's just different, and when you with, like, a whole lot of guys, like, the vibe is just different, you know what I'm saying, than it is with women, because, like, I would hang with more women on a, on, a, on a level of, I don't have to worry about none of them trying me and forcing me to do something that I don't want to do versus, you know, going and being with guys and them trying to talk you into doing something you don't want to do or going to different places, trying to bait you. Because I've been in those situations numerous times, you know. Um, but for the most part, I just always connected with women better, you know. Um, I don't feel like I dated a lot of different women because I haven't. Um, sexual experiences I've had with quite a bit. And every woman is different. You would think it would be the same because, you know, we all have a clip. Cause I'm not sure if I can say pussy, but a clip is different. And the kind of women I like that I'm attracted to is confident women, um, very, um, usually uh, pretty much a woman that can stimulate my mind, because that's really what I'm attracted to. Like, it, it has to be, like, my mental has to be stimulated. You can't just be, can't be strictly looks only, you know, big ass titties, you know, big ass booty. That's all good and all. I'm not gonna lie to you. That shit is a turn on, major turn on. I think it it it, it brings out um, also a lot in women. But I need you to have something up here too. You feel me? Um, and most importantly, um, just like everybody have their preference, I would much rather have much rather have a womanly woman. And what I mean by that is not like a submissive mind, but one that I feel like the the womanly the womanly woman women those ones they could still see 
the woman in any woman, whether you dress like a guy or they or people feel like you want to be a guy, whatever, it's like they don't they don't really have a lot of masculinity. Cause I feel like every whether it's male or female, we we all have masculine, feminine energy within us. All of us do. Now a lot of us won't admit that, but we all do. And but yeah, I just, you know, I like to wear heels. I like to get their make um like to get their nails done. Um I don't really care too much if you like makeup or not. Um I mean, because sometimes makeup, I feel like, will enhance your looks. But I don't want somebody who actually looks at it like they need it to make them look beautiful or feel beautiful. Because I think everybody, anybody that's ugly is usually on the with, like within themselves. I don't really look at the outer appearance as people that's ugly. I feel like it would have to be internal. But... Everybody's different, you know. Um, women are amazing. Women are amazing. They're so different. Like, everyone is uniquely different. And everyone will either bring out the best in you, the worst in you, or both, you know. Um, I love women that like know how to be a professional when at work and like when you're out in public and like, yeah, I know you're going to get into it. You argue. That's fine. Like, I don't have a problem with that because, you know, everybody depending on the conversation, you can get heated every moment. I don't have no problem with that. But if you're just somebody who's always fucking mad or always talking shit to somebody or, like, somebody who, like, say we have a waiter and you talk shit to the waiter and you don't want to tip, I can't rock with you because that person is just doing their job. You feel me? So I don't want a woman that's stuck up like that because I've been around some, hung out with some that are exactly like that. I can't rock with it, you know? Uh, but overall, I can rock with a woman that's most importantly know who she is, accept herself, and that can accept me for me how I am, you know, most importantly. You know what I'm saying? That that's open minded. Um, and understands that we're not going to click on all levels. You feel me? I'm nothing like her. She ain't nothing like me, which is fine. But just understand how we connect is how we connect. And nobody else going to get that experience of that connection but me and that woman. Just like the connection that me and gorgeous have nobody's never gonna have that because every connection you have with anybody is gonna always be completely different i ain't gonna lie guys this this chili dog is good oh excuse me chili corny is good but i love women i don't see that changing i don't want it to change i love the fact that i'm a lesbian i love the fact that i was born to be a lesbian and there is nothing in this world that's going to ever make me change that. I don't give a damn how many emotions I go through with women. Or ups and downs or downs or whatever the fuck it is. If I had to choose, I would rather die alone. Because I just don't see it. I don't see me marrying a guy. I don't have no interest in it. They cool, you know what I'm saying? And whoever's for them, that's for them. It's just not for me. So... I don't have a problem with them. I don't hate men. I don't think all men are bad. I don't think that either. You know, that's just they who they are. Just like I'm who I am. And there ain't no issues with it. But I'm just one less woman in the world that they just don't get a chance with. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
That doesn't make me any less of a lesbian because I haven't been with a guy. I'm sure some people got their own opinions about it and feel like I may not have a certain understanding. I don't need to have one because if I got to go sleep with a guy for me to act like how some of these women act and that's what y'all blaming it on, I, I'm good then. Because if I'm going to act a fool, I'm going to act a fool because of me, not because of somebody else or what is attached to a guy. You know, that makes no sense to me. But, you know, I'm sure that's most women out there going to, be argue gonna argue with me about it because you haven't tried it's okay if I wanted to I would have done it by now or if I ever wanted to I would do it just not me well thank you guys so much for coming through the spot tonight hopefully you ain't too tipsy you're not too high from you know whatever you were doing you know, overly full if you ate with me. But I appreciate you guys coming through and eating with me tonight. Make sure you you like, you comment, you share, and make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. If you ain't doing nothing else or you want to, you know, just come through and check it out, subscribe. But until the next video, guys.